DJ Envious. Mm. <laughs> 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 I've just been walking problem. around my house like by, by myself. You've been calling Amara DJ Envious? <laughs> Saying that out loud. <laughs> Sick. It's the baby sitting there. <laughs> DJ Envious. Envious. Mm, terrifying. My pickleball paddle polisher. That's a wild thing to say about pickleball. Hey, but look though. See, can we talk about it? Because I told y'all what was going to happen. I mm. told y'all the feds was going to storm iHeartRadio. They was going to investigate. Y'all like, nah. Not we didn't say that. Somebody we said, said nah. it was clip for them. Now somebody said, said nah. No. They wouldn't. They wouldn't investigate. That the feds wouldn't go up in iHeart for what? Are oh, you reading too much Reddit? No, I thought, I thought somebody here <laughs> said because that. we definitely thought Envy is at. We thought that they would fire him for sure. Which li- we still don't know yet. But listen, let me explain something to you. DJ First of all, Envy, DJ, NJ. DJ Envious. Listen, man. You know, notice. You know, we don't have the the greatest of relationships. <laughs> Uh, some tension, some tension with you and my boy. Still don't know why. Yeah, still don't know why. But listen, man, uh-huh. uh, this is some serious shit. I, I I pose the question, Rory. Does does Envy keep a job? First of all, he, they they recorded today. They recorded an episode today. I didn't think that they would still be able to record. Once I don't, I told Demaris that the feds come in here and, and rush her and snatch her laptop that she no longer has a job here. Which is so fucked up. But we'll get into that later. They probably get I the laptop back if they took like our <laughs> our work laptop. Yeah, you could take Damaris's personal. This work laptop has a lot. Yeah, but her Demaris, keys are all sticky and shit. No Demaris one wants that laptop. Damaris can still be here if the feds rushing here right now. But why? Though? Demaris, how would you feel? I don't want to be involved with nothing you got going on as federal crimes. That's true. How would you feel if I gave my full cooperation? Ooh, that's you, fucked up. Whatever you need, officer. Right this way. Yo, would you would you fully cooperate with the feds if they was investigating me? What for what? <laughs> that's like, yeah. Anything. No. That's well, I don't have any knowledge of anything. I couldn't cooperate. I don't know anything. I don't know what you do know. outside of these walls. Okay, you're okay. an accomplice. Okay, say, 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 say you knew that I had some. I told you, like, yo, dog, I got this little, this little scam I'm running. Little side, I'm killing. Right oh now. no, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say anything. Just say he's DJ Envy. If there was like, if I had like knowledge of human trafficking, I'm grabbing your hand and pulling you like in. Oh, I would never. The precinct. That's, that's a sick. That's a but sick. If, that's sick to be involved with human trafficking. But if you're scamming like old ladies out there for a 1K, I wouldn't go snitch. But I'm not. Like we would probably couldn't work together. But until they come and say, you know, half of this LLC or whatever if, you guys. There were 75 videos of him going DJ Envy, flipping NJ. Yeah. I saw a yeah. compilation of a hundred of those clips. Yeah. Of the two but, of them. But he didn't know that wasn't his business. He no idea. He didn't know. On. I have no idea what was going on. Well, uh, I do think that DJ Envy will no longer be a part of the Breakfast Club. I think they've kind of been leading that way anyway. I mean, now I can now understand why Angela Yee got out of there. She didn't want to have no parts to do with that. Is that what you Get think it was? Rico. Yeah, she could say she wanted to move on. She knew what was going on. She knew some some scamming federal investigation was off. going down. Mm. She got clean away from that. Charlemagne stood- The CI? Ten toes, Charlemagne. He stood 10 toes down with his boy Envy. In the, in the Fed's defense though, I've been wanting somebody to steal those Dell laptops from the Breakfast Club for quite some time. Dead ass. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's, I get a, get a MacBook. No, I get it. They have, the, they have had Charlemagne on a Dell computer that looks like it runs on diesel <laughs> since 2011. There's a lot more encryption with Dell laptops and stuff, so that's why, you know, uh, it's all like the stuff gets like secured get and a, shit. Get a, like, get clearly, ad block. clearly yeah, it didn't know. work Dell out. Is more, Dell is more secure than Well, window, Windows, you could do a lot more stuff to like encrypt oh, okay. like, like you could yeah. run a real estate scam or like yeah. stuff. I think like that's good. You should start that. Disappear, yeah. 401ks disappear completely. Yeah. Things like that. AJ's Coke habits. I never, I never owned that brownstone. So, <laughs> I, yeah, I know that's the point. But you sold it to somebody. I, I never owned that four four family uh, house in uh, T neck. Yeah, uh, T neck. What do you guys think was on the laptops, hard drives, and cell phones that they confiscated? Uh, if anything, obviously business files, uh, wire transfers, emails, things like that. Cash apps, the bitches. But they yeah. they have photos of his cars. <laughs> they have an office together, I think, in Jersey. I doubt anything on those iHeart computers is going to come up. You, I don't think I should any, be surprised. You never know. You never know. There's a reason. Let me tell you something. In case people out there that are listening do, don't know, when the feds come knocking, they pretty much have their case solved already. They're just coming to just like get everything together. It's formality. So it. Yeah, it's just, just presented in front of the judge. Like, listen, we know we, this is what it is. This is here. This is here. Um, so, yeah, they come up in there to snatch laptops. That's because they know for a fact there's information on these laptops mm. um, and they need those to just kind of sealed the case. So Well, Caesar was arrested, I believe, on Tuesday, or was it Monday? And um, he dropped his album when? <laughs> when the albums come out? When they hit DSP's Midnight? We don't think he was 10 Toes Caesar? Man, 10 Toes. You don't think he's holding Caesar, down for DJ C- Envious? Caesar hasn't seen his 10 Toes in about five years. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> he hit that Tizo touchdown note? Listen, man, he went in there, he said, yo, listen, man, I was just the face, 
Envy was the name. He was the, you know, he was funding everything. You know what season went in, did. Season, the moment them cuffs it. Rashawn. Yeah. Yo. But you know, I mean, obviously Envy knew this was coming. Like, you know when the feds are, when they're coming. There's never a surprise. Mm -hmm. uh, any Anybody I've known that have been arrested by the feds before, 100% tell you, like, they absolutely knew that they were coming. Um, so Envy wasn't surprised by this. I, I think that our heart probably knew that they were coming up there today as well. I, I think he's not playing dumb per se, because Envy really may have had no clue. And I think his only strategy will be to fully cooperate and give them everything he has. It'll show that he was connected to it, but it'll be like, I had no idea. And I'll do whatever you need me to do to, it, to make sure. There's a world where I believe I don't Envy, go to jail. There's, there's a world where I believe Envy didn't have all the information on certain properties and things like that. I said that uh Last episode, but uh, but but at the end of the day, when you're receiving money and wire transfers in a in a in a business account, and you're spending that money, mm. that makes you part of the the investigation and a part of the crime as well. So, so y'all knew that Caesar got arrested, right? And then yeah. he got released on a one million dollar bond. Yeah. yeah, which I mean, that's come up with ten percent, and he has listen, he has a lot of assets. Yeah, with he can put up a house. Yeah, yeah. that's true. He, can put he handed a them a chain on his way out. He handed somebody a chain. He, Caesar put up a house. Chain to, uh, put up a house that wasn't his. It's crazy, man. Yikes. But this is good, though. This is good that, um, you know, things like this, because at the end of the day, the victims are hardworking people who are just trying to, you know, flip their money and put their money in investments so that they can live a more comfortable, secure life. And for uh, people to take advantage of them and oh, do shit like this, terrible. this is um terrible. So it is good for the uh, victims to have some type of, you know, support and some type of justice uh, when they lose their entire 401ks or their life savings that they put into these properties and the whole time uh, somebody's scamming them out of their money. So it's, nice. it is, uh, you know, it's it's bittersweet, but hopefully the the victims, uh, you know, find some way out of this and are compensated somehow. I don't know how that would happen, but um, it's better that they just, just didn't lose their money and not have to build from scratch and start their lives over. So, And listen, I mean, jo jokes aside, let's say there's a world where Envy – even though it's his responsibility to do mm. due diligence, had no idea what was going on. He's still going to be caught up in all the money that is going to have to be paid back. Oh, yeah. So I feel for Envy, especially if he has no clue what was going on. He's going to lose a shit. You guys think he had a clue? Envy? Yeah. Yeah. He knew. He knew. I think what happened was they got to a point where they were robbing Peter to pay Paul type of thing. Mm -hmm. They owed so many people so much money that they started... Yeah, taking money from other people to pay people off, and then it just got to a point where they just couldn't dig themselves out of a hole, waiting for that one big hit, waiting for that one. Leg and the thing about it is, the reason why this is really crazy is because, you know, when people do scams, and they do things like this, I always think like, why not just do shit the right way and have a long, longer career? And slow make money, it real money. It's slow money. They want the fast money. Yeah, but slow money is better than the feds coming up to iHeartRadio and now you may have to face jail time and lose money anyway. Mm. So it's like, why not just do things legit, have legit business going on, like have these real properties, help people make money and 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 off these properties, and then more people are like, oh shit, like that's re that really is working. Like NVNCs are really doing some dope shit. People are really making money with them, like investing in the neighborhoods, buying properties. I just I just find that the scamming thing is just so short sighted to me. It's so stupid. Like mm -hmm. I just don't under like I get it on a level, so, a street level. Like Envy doesn't need this money. No, I don't know Caesar's history. I don't know you know what his deal is, but Envy doesn't need this money. Like scamming to me is for people that literally have nothing going on and they need a quick lick, and you know they, that's that's usually they end up in a situation like this. Envy to me, which is why I know he probably didn't know everything about this. He doesn't need this money. This mm -hmm. is not something he needs. Now, I, I believe that Caesar pulled him in and, you know, fed him a story like, yo, this is how we can make this money. This is how we can do it. And Envy was like, okay, I'll be the face. I'll bring in the clientele, the celebrity clientele, you know, things like that. But I do think it got to a point where Envy saw that the money wasn't coming in and that they were spending people's money. And he tried to separate himself after it was too late. You think, oh, okay, so you, okay, so you acknowledge that he had some sort of idea of what I don't think so. On. I don't think his intentions were to go into scam, but yeah, at some point- At some point you gotta- know. I don't think Envy is that dumb. At some point he looked at it and was like, this doesn't seem right, but he's probably yeah. too deep at that point. And I saw, um, I don't know if it was Ian Dunlap, someone posted a clip discussing that like the pandemic brought out all the scammers. Like it gave people so much free money that they mm. got into that mentality. That's why there's been so many like public scams that we've seen since COVID. Mm -hmm. 
because it, it allowed for so much loans to come out and like people got in over their head mm -hmm. with money that wasn't actually theirs. Yeah. So I, I can definitely see, especially with, with the housing market right after the pandemic, like mm -hmm. it'd be pretty easy to fall into a scam like that. Yeah. Get in over your head. Um, but yeah, prayers, prayers to all the victims and, and people that lost money. I hope they do get at least some of it back. It's going to be a very long process. It is. So who, who knows? And you know. I, I can see envy. DJ envious. You gonna have to polish them, polish them pickleball Pickle paddles. Paddle polisher. Does a uh, ball paddle polisher? Does Charlemagne give him donkey of the day? Hell yeah! What? Uh, Charlemagne ain't gonna do the day. He, is, is he's done it before for dumber things. He's giving envy the donkey of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Dumber things. Oh yeah, yeah. So then he's definitely getting another one. Convict of the day. I can't believe that they actually recorded that they he was able to work today. Of course. You think the he fed, wasn't the one that you got You think arrested? the feds let him borrow his laptop for the recording and then, like, we're standing outside the booth and then took it afterwards? That's not how the feds work. The feds could care less about our heart or the, or the breakfast club. Uh -huh. Give me that laptop now. Mm. That's why I don't understand how he was still able to record. I just don't, I don't get that. I would just have loved to see Charlemagne's face when he walked into the studio and <laughs> if he had a burn bag with all his real estate. Burn bag. Burn bag. <laughs> like Wolf burn of Wall Street. He was at the shredder just running through yeah. shit. <laughs> no worry, Ma.